Serrated scraping tool found in basement of house. It has a wooden handle and a metal head. It is approximately 9 inches long and feels light. It was found in the basement of a house that was recently purchased by a friend full of woodworking tools. Our best guess is it has to do with drywall. No markings or numbers of any kind. The head is 3 inches wide. Any idea what this is made for? It is a tool for opening windows that have been painted shut. Called a window zipper. A tool found on a family farm. Looks too small for a hog to fit through. It looks like there was text on the box, but we can't make out what it said. It's about 3 feet tall. We first thought it might be used to clean hogs, pigs, but the brush area is too narrow for that. We're not sure how old it is, as it was found in an old barn. We can't figure out what the text on the box said or if it's even relevant. It may be something a farmer put together for themselves. The bottom brushes can move a couple inches towards the sides, but we can't get it to move otherwise. The brush bristles are not metallic. What is this? It's an applicator for livestock fly spray. They make these for cows to itch their face on. Found mostly wood tool at former antique collector family member's house 20 inches long 3.75 inches wide. At the end that grins when closed. It is mostly wood with two metal plates screwed on. Inside edges have small teeth. Doesn't appear to be for cutting maybe grabbing and pulling? Any ideas what this thing is? This item helped to get laundry out of Peggy tub and then an old-fashioned top loading washing machine. My mom have one, she had them from being married in the 40s. I found this in a thrift store. It's sturdy PVC. I've googled every variation of punk, goth jewelry, cuff etc, no dice. Can't tell if I'm being stupid, but I've got no idea how this goes on the body. Does anyone recognize this kind of jewelry? Is it a sex thing? Too small for neck, too floppy for wrist, no marking or branding. How on earth do you wear this thing? Is it missing a piece? Any ideas? It's a black punk leather finger ring wrap hand wrist bracelet bangle jewelry type thing. What is the hollow part of this for? Never seen anything like it before. Cat for size reference. It is 6 inch in depth and 1 inch high. The hollow part also only measures 10 inches wide. I think it is most likely a storage shelf that you put on a counter and keep small books and trinkets in. Not sure why there's molding on the bottom of it, though if it's meant to be placed in a counter. Any idea what this is made for? It's a phone table with storage space for the phone book. This belonged to my grandfather so I think it's from the 1940s or before. This is small red container. The lid has a small spoon attached to the inside. You can look at the bottom of the jar. My friend told me the language is traditional Chinese. I can't tell what the red material is, it's very hard. Doesn't seem like clay more like stone. I posted the pic of the mark on translate subreddit and someone already translated it. Apparently it says, ceramic pottery made during the reign of the Qianlong Emperor, which was 1735 to 1796. I can't believe it. Any idea what this is made for? Snuff container. This is really established in the Mongol culture. It's used because the winters are so cold and when you enter someone's house it is a way to clear your nose. My friend received this passed down from his great-great-grandfather. It's believed to be from Persia and about 2000 years old. This item is lightweight and either bronze or copper, we're guessing. It's lightweight and seems to have a star pattern at the top. Anyone know what this is? It's a hairpin or a clothespin, brooch. In the dimly lit garage of the house I was remodeling, amidst the scattered tools and debris, my eyes fell upon a peculiar object that immediately piqued my curiosity. It was a metal cage, its surface worn and weathered. The mechanism within intrigued me the most, a clamping action that could be activated by pulling the handle. As I held it in my hands, I could feel the weight and sturdiness of the tool, its 30 inch length. It was unlike any cock gun or conventional tool I had encountered before, leaving me to wonder about its purpose. Anyone know what this is? It's a foot-operated potato planter. 
Received as a Christmas gift cannot for the life of me figure out what its purpose is. It looks like something to hold rather than open but I'm so stumped. Presuming it's made of steel. Had no markings on it that I can see. The bits that come together are slightly hollowed out. The arms, handles at the top overlap when they are pressed together. Any ideas what this thing is? It's a modified Mason Hewitt mouth gag. Historically used to keep patients' mouth open during surgery to prevent suffocation. Found this while cleaning out my granddad's garage. Some sort of mechanism with moving metal parts inside a plastic glass frame has a three or five. Depends how you look at it. Point stand that looks like it's meant to hold something is my guess. Have never seen it before in my life. Anyone know what this is? It's music on hold for a home telephone. The phone was put on top of it to keep the caller entertained if the speaker had to put the call on hold for a while during a conversation. What is this thing? The part above the handle rotates. The two coins in the middle seem to have Chinese characters written on them. I did not make the dimensions clear on the photo, but you can fit three fists onto the handle. From that you can guess how big the whole thing is. Any ideas? It's a kite spindle. It seems like a reproduction of what they used to use from the mid-1800s to the early 1900s. Found this in the crawl space of a home in Southern California. Appears to be some sort of a gas heater as it looks to have a valve that hooks up to a gas line with a pipe that runs through it with little holes. The size is not large, around 2 feet tall. No engraving to give us any hints to exactly what it is, what it's used for, and how old it may be. Any ideas? It's a gas heater, circa 1930s to 50s. You're seeing the side, gas valve, and the back, flue opening, covered. My mom stumbled upon this intriguing object near her pool gate, and to our surprise, it doesn't belong to anyone in our family. The only individuals who have had access to the pool area are my sister's friend and the pool boy. As we examined it closely, we discovered that the top ball smoothly glides up and down, revealing its hidden secrets. When the ball is in the lowered position, just like in the picture, it entices you to gently pull it apart, unveiling its true purpose. Can you guess what it is? It's actually a remarkable cigarette holder. Typically, it features a ring at the bottom, and I happen to own one myself. As you open it, a delicate flower blossoms, while the beads gracefully slide up, ensuring the cigarette stays securely in place. What's even more fascinating is that it can expand further, accommodating even large blunts. I've personally used it to hold my Roly Sig filters, which are similar in size to a roach. Rest assured, Cigarettes can certainly find a snug spot within this extraordinary holder.